Hello everyone. Before I start, I'd like to mention a few things. Someone I greatly admire has passed away. René Auberge Noir, who just passed away. As a massive Star Trek and Deep Space Nine fan, this news was a bit of hard for me. I'd like to pay my deepest respect and condolences to his family and all Star Trek fans who are in deep shock over this. Only recently, Aaron Eisenberg died, who played Nog in Star Trek Deep Space Nine, another major name in Star Trek community. Anyhow, on with the show. Everyone is talking SpaceX these days. In fact, you'd think this is the only space and rocket launching company in the world. However, not far away from SpaceX Florida base is another major space company warming up to the idea of space travel and exploration and colonization of space. Blue Origin is hard at building its own space infrastructure, which will enable Blue Origin to compete with SpaceX, but also set its own agenda for future space exploration. The water tower for Blue Origin's future launch site is beginning to rise above Cape Canaveral as work continues to pick up speed on the facility. Blue Origin, the company founded by Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos, plans to begin launching its reusable New Glenn rocket from Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in early 2021. Work has been ongoing on the launch complex preparing for New Glenn's first launch. Blue Origin leased the launch site from Air Force Two years later, it completed construction of its massive blue and white rocket factory outside Kennedy Space Center gates in Exploration Park. By the way, the top floor of the building on Space Comets Way will also serve as a launch control for New Glenn rockets. LC-36A was originally completed in 1961 to serve as the launch pad for the Air Force Atlas Centau rocket. Later, NASA took over the facility and built a second pad known as 36B. The first US spacecraft to land on the moon and take photos of Mars were launched from LC-36A pad. In addition to new 70,000 square meter rocket assembly facility, Blue Origin entered an agreement in October 2018 to build an additional rocket testing and refurbishment facility. The $60 million facility are being constructed on the same lot as Blue Origin's rocket facility. It will be the second largest building in Exploration Park. The first is, of course, original 70,000 square meter facility. And then in March of 2020, Blue Origin plans to develop 90 acre empty patch of land leased from NASA's Kennedy Space Center to connect its launch facility to the rocket plant. Construction was expected to start in July with completion in March 2020, but was slightly delayed. As Blue Origin footprint in the Space Coast continues to grow, so does the number of employees. Currently, Blue Origin has around 500-550 staff at the facility. This is likely to grow to around 1,000 or maybe even 1,200 staff before first New Glenn takes off, sometimes in 2021. Blue Origin is seriously working to consolidate its position as a large commercial player in space exploration in coming years. Perhaps they'd like to have a go at SpaceX's dominating position with the 82 meter tall New Glenn rocket, which will be capable of lifting at least 45 tons into low Earth orbit. However, I'm sure Elon Musk, who is not on the friendliest terms with Blue Origin's boss Jeff Bezos, will do his best to ensure SpaceX remains dominant space launch company in the US. Recently, Jeff Bezos unveiled his vision of space exploration and role Blue Origin will play in that vision. New Glenn rocket first and the smallest of the three super rockets boosters will Blue Origin plans to develop in coming years will be by all means third most powerful commercial rocket when completed in 2021. Not as powerful as SpaceX Starship, New Glenn rocket will be capable of placing up to 50 tons into low Earth orbit. Powered by seven BE-4 rocket engines, also developed by Blue Origin, New Glenn will be capable of nearly 17,000 kilonewtons of thrust, which is just over 1,700 tons. Initially, New Glenn rocket will be semi-reusable, with only first stage being reusable. However, Blue Origin is working on a plan to make New Glenn fully reusable. With both stages returned to Earth after the mission, Blue Origin hopes to reuse the same New Glenn rocket at least 25 times. Jeff Bezos also announced plans to work with NASA on Artemis program, creating a coalition of space companies Blue Origin plans to lead in Artemis program that will see manned return to the moon by 2025. Jeff Bezos hopes to play an important role in ensuring Blue Origin plays a crucial role in future of manned expansion and exploration of space. 
Next video should be up on Thursday, so please subscribe and press like if you like this video. Thank you very much.